Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. I just want to give you guys a couple of quick updates, and then we're going to dig into this box and see what's inside. First thing I want to mention is that our fundraiser is almost over. We've got about six days, I think, left at the time of this recording. So if you haven't donated yet and you'd like to, please feel free. Thanks so much, everyone who has donated so far. It's been really, really encouraging. It's nice to know that there's support here to want to see this show continue. If, the other way you can support us, too, I mentioned in one of our episodes is over at the Discount Game Store. They have a, a section on their website where you can see a Watch It Played spot. I'll put a link in the uh, YouTube description below for this video. You can go right there, and if there any of those games you have an interest in, he's going to give some of the proceeds of those sales back to us. Some of you have already picked up some games there. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much. Now, before we get into this box, I just want to tell you guys a quick story. One of my favorite gaming podcasts is the Secret Cabal Gaming Podcast. You guys know I don't review games on the show, but I'll certainly tell you the things I like about the gaming hobby and the things around it. And this podcast is certainly one of those things. Four great guys who get together, they talk about the games they're playing, things they're interested in. They have great discussion topics about the gaming industry or how games work. They also talk about role-playing and miniatures. They cover a whole gamut of things, but it's just really fun and interesting to listen to. It's provided me with a lot of entertainment. And I've been fortunate over time, I've been able to get to know them a little better on a personal level. I've actually had a chance to play some games with them over Skype, and that's been a lot of fun. And uh, one of the things, one of the drawbacks is, just like a lot of you have mentioned to me, that sometimes when you see the games we play, it makes you want to go out and, and buy them. I, I experienced the exact same thing when I listened to uh, board gaming media, and these guys have done that to me a couple of times. Jamie there, one of the hosts, uh, was really excited about one of the Kickstarter projects there, Sedition Wars, which is a game that comes with all kinds of miniatures. And it wasn't, it wasn't a cheap game, uh, and... Uh, I ended up, uh, with very little twisting of the arm, getting into that as well, due to his uh, talking it up. And uh, another game that he talked about was the game that's in this box. So it was really interesting to me to get an, uh, an email from one of our viewers, Don, who thought this game would be a great fit for our show. And so he contacted the designer of the game, Douglas Bass, and asked him to send us a copy, and Doug agreed. So I want to thank both Don, one of our viewers, and Douglas for sending the game to us. And I want to thank the Secret Cabal Gaming Podcast for bringing this game to my attention. And listen, if you haven't checked out that podcast, please do. It's really, really good. And I'd love to get your feedback on it, see if you enjoy it just as much as I do. So let's open up the box and just see what game is inside of here. Well, first of all, on top, we have some dice. Do you think this is a game Luke's going to enjoy? Probably. And that's because this game is actually called Garden Dice. So you know dice is at the center of the game mechanics for this game. And so let's take a look at the components inside of this box, and I'll tell you a little bit about it as I show you them. This game is for two to four players, and it takes about 60 minutes, it says, to play. In the game, players are going to be rolling dice, and then they're going to use the results of those dice to perform different kinds of actions, like buying seeds, planting them, and then watering them. And then you're going to be able to harvest the vegetables that grow. So you're going to have sort of basically a, a section of garden that you're growing things in, other players are going to be growing things in that garden as well. So you're also going to be able to use actions to send critters and other things around to gobble up their portion of the garden and take away points from them because the things that you grow will give you points at the end of the game. And as you're seeing, the game comes with a lot of components. and They look like they're really nice quality. We've got a game board here. There's tiles, tokens, dice, wooden discs, and even these really nice player aids. I like these quite a bit. It looks like it tells you exactly what you do on a turn, the different kinds of actions you can take. And then on the back side, it gives you the scoring information as well. All right, so there you have it. Thank you very much, Doug, for sending this along to us. And thank you, Don, for suggesting he sent it to us. And yes, thank you, Jamie, from the Secret Cabal Gaming Podcast, where you gave me kind of fired up about this game in the first place. I think the theme is going to be fantastic for my family. Uh, my wife is always trying to get me to do work in the garden, which I hate doing. And uh, maybe I'll be able to get her into the dice garden instead. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, until the next episode, guys, thanks for watching.